point dear farmer welcome to our special show krishi darpan today we are going to discuss about the crop diversification a boom for farming after the green revolution we have given more emphasis on rice wheat cropping system and some major crop like maize sorghum for particular region to sustain our daily life through subsistence agriculture this was quite true until recent time but it become unsustainable and less productive this become a region for farmers to quit farming and migrate from rural area to urban area in this context the crop diversification become a novel approach to enhance the farms productivity and profitability today we are going to discuss on the crop diversification in our studio we have different personality from different institute dr vasavras principal scientist division of genetics from central research institute of dryland agriculture hyderabad dr dibya parshi principal scientist division of vegetable science from indian institute of vegetable research varanasi dr bhavishya principal scientist division of horticulture from center uh, plantation crop research institute kasalgarh dr bk das principal scientist division of uh, soil and water conservation from central soil conservation research institute training dehradun dr bapi das principal scientist division of vegetable science from indian institute of horticulture research bangalore dr dibya pl from uh, post harvest technology from indian institute of horticulture bangalore dr bandappa principal scientist division of mycology from central research institute of dryland agriculture and dr binish principal scientist division of mariculture from icr central marine fisheries research institute kochi dear friend as we know the productivity and profitability of crop diversification is more than conventional cropping pattern so popularization of this technology can enhance the productivity and profitability of a farmer so before going to discuss in technical detail i would like to ask dr vasavras to briefly explain the importance of the variety in crop diversification thank you dr bupin the use of yielding and short duration varieties in the crop diversification system enhances the profitability and socio economic status of the farmer for example in a rice wheat cropping system the most of the problem is related with their rice crop as it was a remedy crop in the karif seasons the farmers are very crazy to grow rice crop in the karif season at present there were no alternative varieties for the rice wheat cropping system but one of the alternative approaches for the rice wheat cropping system was we can grow the rice crop in the karif season by growing yielding short duration varieties like pusa basmati 1509 pusa basmati rice hybrid 10 and pusa sugandha 5 these varieties will attain the maturity within 95 to 109 days and within the rice wheat cropping system we can replace the wheat with other two crops like sorghum plus potato sorghum plus onion and sorghum plus wheat these alternative three crop sequences will save the natural resource and increase the crop productivity for unit area so this is how we can utilize the yielding short duration varieties for the crop crop diversification system thank you dr vasudas for your uh, very valuable information regarding the variety, role of variety in crop diversification as he told that we can intensify our cropping system by the introduction of the short duration variety so it is the intensification of the crop, uh, uh, cropping system through the short duration other than that we can intensify our crop diversification through int- introduction of some vegetable crop uh, so today we have the one expert dr bappi das so kindly i request dr bappi das to explain the importance of the vegetables in crop diversification yes dr bippin nowadays farmers are crazy about growing only one crop in a single piece of land in peri urban area growing high value crop like tomato capsicum chili along with cowpea increases production productivity of each crop by improving soil health some tomato varieties like arka rakshak arka samrat capsicum varieties like california wonder indra chili varieties like arka abi arka magna are suitable for crop diversification by this way we can improve the livelihood level of farmers community thank you dr babitas and this is very nice for you farmer i hope do you will understand the importance of the vegetable crop in crop diversification when we insert the another crop then there is maybe changes of the microclimate and there may he chance of the insect pest disease so for that purpose i have expert dr dibya parsi so i kindly request the dr dibya parsi to explain what are the important insect pest disease and their control measure well dr bipin under the crop diversification due to changes in microclimate conditions the incidence of insect pests like 
fruit borer, aphids, thrips, nematodes and soil borne diseases are major devastating to the crop. This can be maintained in a more integrated approach with the best mix of chemical, biological and cultural practices. To manage the pests and diseases, first of all, apply neem cake and pongamia seed cake 20 days after planting. Release natural enemies like Neocelius cucumeris that feed on thrips. Encourage ladybirds and lacewing birds that feed on aphids. Grow marigold as a trap crop to control nematodes. Bacillus thuringiensis and nuclear polyhedrosis virus are effective selective biological control agents for fruit borers. Finally, prevention, monitoring, accurate disease diagnosis and development of disease thresholds are various ways of integrated disease management. Thank you Dr. Dibya Parsi for giving the information of the important insect pest disease in the vegetable crop. Vegetable, vegetable crop also have important scope through the post harvest or value addition. For that purpose to enhance the productivity of farmer, I, uh, we have an expert Dr. Dibya Kiel. So I request Dr. Dibya Kiel to briefly explain the importance of the post harvest or value addition in vegetable crop. Yes Dr. Bibin. <coughs> Sometimes huge production may lead to the condition of glut in the market and the farmers may not be able to get reasonable price for their produce. And there is one option for them to get around this situation that is value addition of the produce through processing. For example, high quality tomatoes can be used for the production of tomato sauce, puree, ketchup. Likewise, chili and capsicum can be used for producing this dehydrated products, then pickles, color extraction and oleoresin extraction. And in this manner, farmers can increase their income. Uh, thank you, Dr. Dibya Kiel. Really, this is very interesting. Now, the farmers are not getting only by the selling of their own products. So, it is a very used option for you. You can process your product and you can get more and more. As we know that till right now, we are just were talking about the spatial. So, here there is a way in crop diversification, a scope of the vertical diversification through the horticulture crop. So for that purpose, I have Dr. Bhavishya. So, he will explain the importance of the horticulture crop in crop diversification. So I kindly request Dr. Bhavishya to explain the importance of the horticulture crop in crop diversification. Thank you Dr. Pipin. Crop diversification in India is a shift from traditionally grown lower remedy crops to more profitable crops. Horticulture crops are being more profitable growing fruits, vegetables, plantation crops and spices will be beneficial for improved livelihood. These crops can be grown as an alternate for low remunerative agriculture crops. The natural resources like sunlight, land and air space are not effectively utilized by the horticulture crops. Hence monocropping should be avoided. Intercropping, mixed cropping and multi-species cropping system involving many agri horti crops can be followed which avoids risk and gender employment throughout the year. Hence, crop diversification involving horticulture crops will be profitable and beneficial for improved livelihood and also for nutrition security of the farming community. Thank you Dr. Babisha for giving the importance of the horticulture crop in crop diversification. As we know, the farmers is under the burden of the input because they are going to purchase fertilizer and so many input. For that purpose, how we will reduce the input cost? So for that purpose, I have one expert, Dr. Bandappa, he will explain the importance of the biofertilizer or microorganism in crop diversification to reduce input load on the farmer. So kindly I request Dr. Bandappa explain. Yes, Dr. Vipin. As you know that biofertilizers are cost effective, eco-friendly and renewable source of plant nutrient, supplement the chemical fertilizer in crop diversification. Biofertilizer contains living efficient cells of pea solubilization, nitrogen fixation and cellulose degrading microorganism. Microorganism biofertilizers will enhance the availability of plant nutrient. In field experiment, it was indicated that azolla can be grown as intercrop along with rice. Azolla can derive 78 percent of its nitrogen from air under field conditions. Therefore, I, I recommend our farmer to cultivate azolla in their farm for better production and healthy ecosystem which ultimately leads higher profit. Thank you. 
Thank you, Dr. Mandampa, for your valuable information of the biofertilizer in crop diversification. Definitely, our farmer is going to practice this. As we know, due to the continuous cropping, our land is stripping and degrading. So, what are the importance of the crop diversification in controlling the soil and water conservation? For that purpose, I have one expert, Dr. B. K. Das. He will explain what are the importance of crop diversification in soil conservation and water management. So, I kindly request you, please. Thank you, Dr. Vipin. Growing of different root characteristic crop and legume crops in crop diversification improve the soil structure. It reduces the soil erosion due to more stable soil structure, increase the infiltration capacity of the soils, and reduce the surface runoff. It improves the fertility of the soils and surfa surface runoff. Growing cover crop in crop diversification reduces the impact of rainfall and reduces the soil erosion. Using strip crop in crop diversification, erosion resistance crops should be grown across the slope to reduce the soil erosion. If you do crop diversification in slopey area, it will reduce the soil erosion and prevent the loss of most fertile soil from the land. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Viketas. Uh, definitely, this is a very sustainable approach to adopt the crop diversification to save our land also. As we know, other scope is also as is to introduce fishes in our crop diversification for that purpose how the fish is helping for the helpful for the crop diversification i have one expert dr binish kk so i kindly request to explain the importance of the fish in crop diversification thank you dr bibin uh, integrated fish farming uh, can play a major role in increasing food production there is a huge potential for integrated fish farming which can generate additional net returns to the farmers along with higher crop and productivity integrated fish farming results in mutual benefit with the fish and rice. If the rice gets benefit in the form of additional nutrients that come from fish excreta. In addition to that, aquatic weeds of rice also get reduced due to the presence of fishes. In turn, the fishes get benefited in the form of favorable microclimates due to the presence of rice plants. There are many species like tilapia, katla, Ryoku and Mrigal can be used for rice fish farming. This system gives 70 to 90 percentage more profitable than rice cultivation alone. It can be concluded that this production and income can be generated increased by introducing fish in the rice, rice field. So I recommend all farmers to adopt uh, integrated rice farming system to increase your profit. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Binish KK is really very interesting for the farmer to know the importance of the fish in the rice fish and crop diversification. I also want to thanks to our other expert, Dr. Vashavras, Dr. Dibya Pashi, Dr. Vavishya, and Dr. Papi, uh, Papi Dash, Dr. VK Das, and Dr. Dibya KL, and Dr. Bandappa. Dear farmer, uh, for, you, for giving your valuable time and information with our farmer. Dear farmer, I hope this is interesting and useful to you. And if you have any query, so you can write to our address, Krishi Darshan, Post Box 956, Naram, Najinder Nagar, Hyderabad, 500030. You can also write to our email, krishivikas at gmail.com. Or you can also call to our toll free number, 8010912728. I repeat once again. 8010912728 that is all for today that is all for today we will meet next in the next week at the same time and the same channel with another interesting story for that till then namaste jai kisan jai vigyan